Brakti Hawa Brakata Yehawasha Brakti Hawa Brakata Yehawasha Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Cruel Intentions. Lord, will you are edified. Also, TikTok video will be used. For a fair use purpose. Get your food. Carlicia Hood, 35, and her 14 year old son were arrested for murder on Wednesday. Get the cop. Who? Get the cop? Uh, Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my God, I said one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh, he's oh, one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Get your food. Get in the cop. Who? Get in the cop. Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my God, I said one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh, he's one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. So allegedly, she instructed her son to get into the car as he was standing in the doorway watching the entire incident. Well, let me correct it. Watching the incident. All right, your YouTube video will be used for fair use purpose only. And this is her 14-year-old son. Now, certain reports say that she texted him or some way instructed him to come inside. So, as you can see, he is watching this incident. So, of course, um, he shot the man once, and I heard that the man attempted to run out, but the 14-year-old hawked him down and finished the job. And that's why America has to go. You know, America has to go from just based on this incident, the 14 year old placed in a position where he had to defend his mom because another man struck his mom in the face, right? And then the woman, okay, now, according to some reports, they said she does have a license to carry. So why don't you have the gun? What is that 14-year-old doing with that gun? So everybody is at fucking fault. And that 14-year-old is a grown man, according to the scriptures. You become a man at the age of 12. But the point of this lesson, cruel intentions, right? Right? Cruel intentions. So let's get to uh, 
Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 and verse 8. And horse not broken become headstrong. And a child left to himself will be willful, headstrong, presumptuous, right? Verse 9, cocker or spoil your child and he shall make you afraid. Play with him and he will bring you to heaviness. Laugh not with him, lest you have sorrow with him. And least you gnash your teeth in the end. Parents supposed to be parents. And instruct your children or our children in the ways of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and not the ways of America. Give him no liberty in his youth. And wink not at his follies. We must correct them. Bow down his neck while he is young. And beat him on the sides while he is a child. Least he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto you. And so bring sorrow to your heart. It's extremely important for parents to discipline their children. There's nothing wrong with whooping them. Okay? Proverbs 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Stand you in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, this doctrine, right? Where is the good way? And walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. So as parents, we must teach our children, train our children in the in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Right? And based on this training, Abaratazah, they have a righteous lifestyle. Based on that training or those instructions they received from us when they were smaller. Right? So we supposed to be instilling in our children to live righteous and not pack guns. The mom was at fault for placing her son in a position where he had to defend her in that form, that fashion. Deuteronomy 28 and 56, the tender and delicate woman among you. See, at this time frame, you know, our women were feminine, right? Which would not venture to set the sole of her foot on the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eye, meaning mind, shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Now, the reason why I use this scripture, an evil mindset toward her son, because of the position his mom placed him in, 
right? So some speculate that he will do some time, you know. But again, this was based on a cruel intent from the mother, although not justifying what that nigga did, punching her in her face. Now, I didn't see the whole um, video, and I don't know what initial actions led to what we do saw, or it's like what we did saw. But at the end of the day, everybody is at fault. Cruel intentions, Lord will, you are edified. Shalom.